Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them know anything about the subject. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Think of all the years passed by in which you said to yourself, I'll do it tomorrow, and how the gods have again and again granted you periods of grace of which you have not availed yourself. It is time to realize that you are a member of the universe, that you are born of nature itself, and to know that a limit has been set to your time. Use every moment wisely to perceive your inner refulgence. Or, it will be gone and nevermore within your reach. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just, then they will not care how devout you have been, but will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods, but unjust, then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you will be gone, but will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. You always own the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Give yourself a gift the present moment. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question, what fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Say to yourself in the early morning, I shall meet today ungrateful, violent, treacherous, envious, uncharitable men. All of these things have come upon him through ignorance of real good and ill. I can neither be harmed by any of them. For no man will involve me in wrong, nor can I be angry with my kinsman or hate him, for we have come into the world to work together. Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. If it is not right do not do it. If it is not true do not say it. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Death smiles at us all. All a man can do is smile back. If someone can prove me wrong and show me my mistake in any thought or action, 
I shall gladly change. I seek the truth, which never harmed anyone. The harm is to persist in one's own self-deception and ignorance. Both happiness and unhappiness depend on perception. Most of what we say and do is not essential. If you can eliminate it, you'll have more time and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Very little is needed to make a happy life. It is all within yourself, in your way of thinking.